Question 1. What is the difference between a JDK and a JVM? Answer. JDK is Java Development Kit which is for development purpose and it includes execution environment also. But JVM is purely a runtime environment and hence you will not be able to compile your source files using a JVM. Question 2. How can I write a program that takes command line input? Answer. Java programs that take input from the command line declare a special static method called main, which takes a string array as an argument and returns void. The example program below loops through any arguments passed to the program on the command line and lists their values. Question 3. What does public static void main string mean? Answer. This is a special static method signature that is used to run Java programs from a command line interface CLI. There is nothing special about the method itself. It is a standard Java method. But the Java interpreter is designed to call this method when a class reference is given on the command line as below. Question 4. Why are command line arguments passed as a string? Answer. Command line arguments are passed to the application's main method by the Java runtime system before the application class or any supporting objects are instantiated. It would be much more complex to define and construct arbitrary object types to pass to the main method and primitive values alone are not versatile enough to provide the range of input data that strings can. String arguments can be passed for primitive values and can also be used for arbitrary text input, file and URL references. Question 5. Why doesn't the main method throw an error with no arguments? Answer. When you invoke the Java virtual machine on a class without any arguments, the class main method receives a string array of zero length. Thus, the method signature is fulfilled, provided the main method does not make any reference to elements in the array, or checks the array length before doing so, no exception will occur. Question 6. Why do we only use the main method to start a program? Answer. The entry point method main is used to the provide a standard convention for starting Java programs. The choice of the method name is somewhat arbitrary, but is partly designed to avoid clashes with the thread start and runnable run methods, for example. Question 7. Can the main method be overloaded? Answer. Yes. Any Java method can be overloaded, provided there is no final method with the same signature already. The Java interpreter will only invoke the standard entry point signature for the main method with a string array argument, but your application can call its own main method as required. Question 8. I get an exception if I remove the static modifier from main? Answer. The static void main string method is a basic convention of the Java programming language that provides an entry point into the runtime system. The main method must be declared static because no objects exist when you first invoke the Java virtual machine, JVM. So there are no references to instance methods. The JVM creates the initial runtime environment in which this static method can be called. If you remove the static modifier. It will throw a no such method exception. Question 9. What gives Java its write once and run anywhere nature? Answer. All Java programs are compiled into class files that contain bytecodes. These bytecodes can be run in any platform and hence Java is said to be platform independent. Question 10. What is meant by pass by reference and pass by value in Java? Answer. Pass by reference means parsing the address itself rather than passing the value. Pass by value means passing a copy of the value. Question 11. Main method from another class? Answer. Yes, the main method can be called from a separate class. First you must prepare the string array of arguments to pass to the method. Then call the method through a static reference to the host class. Max factors in the example below. String arguments equals new string 123 max factors dot main arguments. Question 12. Explain the reason for each keyword of public static void main string args. Answer. Public main is the first method called by Java environment when a program is executed so it has to accessible from Java environment. Hence the access specifier has to be public. Static. Java environment should be able to call this method without creating an instance of the class. So this method must be declared as static. Void. Main does not return anything so the return type must be void. The argument string indicates the argument type which is given at the command line and a gives an array for string given during command line.
Question 13. Why Oracle Type 4 driver is named as Oracle Thin Driver? Answer. Oracle provides a Type 4 JDBC driver, referred to as the Oracle Thin Driver. This driver includes its own implementation of a TCP IP version of Oracle's Net8 written entirely in Java. So it is platform independent, can be downloaded to a browser at runtime, and does not require any Oracle software on the client side. This driver requires a TCP IP listener on the server side. And the client connection string uses the TCP IP port address, not the TS name's entry for the database name. Question 14. What is the Java API? Answer. The Java API is a large collection of ready-made software components that provide many useful capabilities such as graphical user interface GUI, widgets. Question 15. What is the resource bundle class? Answer. The resource bundle class is used to store local specific resources that can be loaded by a program to tailor the program's appearance to the particular locale in which it is being run.